Graduation is a big achievement under any circumstances. Yours comes as the world is turned upside down. I can barely imagine how head spinning these last few months have been for you. I didn't even think that it was possible that that would be our last day of school. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Online class wasn't even really class. Like, there was like no deadlines for anything. Like it didn't, it wasn't even, like school really. They told us that eighth grade was gonna be one of the best years ever. But then like it turns out that it wasn't really great. This year was by far my most talented team at Jones. The difference in this year's team is I think our girls felt like this year they would win City. I'm focused on the mission and I have to play two perfect games for us to go to City playoffs. My name is Kim Bowman. I was around in 2012 when we had our first teacher strike. I was really hoping that it was going to be like a few years ago where at 11.30 the night before they told us they made a deal. At the bargaining table we're definitely making progress and we'll continue to do everything we can. If they don't change their tune, that could lead to a strike. To Chicago now, where teachers in the nation's third largest school district walked off the job today. The city says it can't afford what the teachers want. If it does mean that we have smaller class sizes. A lot of the things that those teachers were asking for were things that we already had in place. Hey, Chicago father says he has no choice but to sue to save his son's chances of making the state championship. I am deeply, deeply apologetic to every single student athlete that has missed out on the opportunity to compete in postseason play. They're gonna look back at everything and I think they might see that bias that happened and then it's not gonna happen again. This turn of events has been one of the craziest roller coasters of my life. Right now, a Chicago woman is being treated for coronavirus. She's the first patient diagnosed here with the mysterious illness. The governor of Illinois announcing all schools in Illinois starting Tuesday will be closed. A turbulent day of protest in Chicago. Demonstrators face off with police. We want we want this all in response to the death of George Floyd. I want to send to the kids is don't remember the victories but remember how much we had to fight to get here be an agent for change don't take no for an answer and push push the envelope because guess what the adults are not going to give it to you you got to go out and take it so all I can say is great job kids everybody thank you